There we go. You know what? I think it's safe to start. Nope. Here we are. Hello, everyone. California Maggie, hope you're doing well. And <laughs> welcome to this stream. I know there's barely anyone there, but here we are. We're gonna try out a new game for you. Because this was highly recommended by, by a few folks. So we're gonna start a new game, Newfound Courage. I hear it's a very well-written game. It's raining outside really hard, but it's a little hard to hear. I'll be checking between this and my um, stream for any casual viewers, so that's gonna be fun. To start with chapter one, we need background. Chapter one, a new name. Oh, it ate up my screen. Hold on, before things begin, could we at least check that I'm still streaming? Okay, I'm still streaming. You were seven, 189 years after the time that was not counted, when your mother gave birth to the most beautiful boy, and you became a sister. You knew instantly, even though you were young, that you loved this boy. Your instinct was to catch him. You knew this before you realized his mother wouldn't. Okay, ice coffee. Good. Your young years were spent making sure he could have his. Under your watch, a perfectly healthy, normal, smart, but most importantly, happy young boy was raised. While chaos broke out around you, dragging you in, the boy stayed safe in the home you built for him. One day, when the boy was 14 years old, you saw a look he gave another boy. It was the first time you'd ever seen it, and you knew that this look was not the look he gave his friends. There is nothing this boy could ever do that would make you love him any less. However, this revelation had the power to drag the boy from the protections you so carefully built around him. You've heard hateful stories about those who romance others of their own gender here. Please, um, embrace. You tell the boy he should embrace his feelings for the other boy, but you remind him to be careful. This type of love was dangerous in these types of places. Oh god, I'm gonna need tissues, aren't I? The boy doesn't seem to understand what you're saying. My youth. Blind, susceptible youth. <laughs> I know, I know. A little foolish of me, perhaps. I'm sentimental about it. Anyway, after this conversation, you notice the boy has become more reserved. He doesn't laugh as easily, or as honestly. You see him lose his confidence and second guesses every action as he tries to manage the way the others see him. <sighs> Fuck, this is starting to make me think about my life. Being pushed back in the closet is never fun. Eventually, because of your care, the boy heals, but you don't. You struggle every day with the knowledge that, despite your best intentions, you hurt him. You decide it was worse, even because it came from you. You resolve to not approach the topic anymore, but vow not to let anyone hurt him in this way again. You fasten the walls of the home. And inside you grow garden, wild and beautiful. But years passed and the boys, magnetically attracted to one another, are not able to keep from being together for long. Their friendship rekindles, stronger than it ever was. It was a Sunday morning when you noticed things acting strangely. It was the day after the two boys had spent the night together. The boy was sadder. Sadder than you had seen him in a very long time. I think it's safe to ask what's wrong. Talking quietly and occasionally stammering, the boy describes the night before. 
He and his friend had been accompanied by some girls. Something happened between the boy's friend and one of the girls. Nothing more needed to be said. He leans his head on his shoulder as tears gently flow from his tightly shut eyes. Oh, this is. Oh, this, this is... is. Yeah. Okay, I just needed to check that my audio was working within the stream. I'm glad it is. Where there was once a glowing wall between the boys, now there was nothing but forest fires. They fought angrily with words before. Eventually, they fought with their bare fists. Through this conflict, the relationship was revealed to all in the different, in different light of the moon, and you weren't there. But you found out your deepest held fear, stinging with the cold that one that only uncovered secrets left too long to concentrate do. From his confinement, he saw you. A red blur of strength and anger. A deep flood, ready to destroy any who flowed to harm that boy. Your boy. You found him broken. Not from physical pain, but from the deep hurt on a heart that loved another who loved him back in a different way. A love that could only stretch so far because of something as trivial as biology. Unrequited, but love <laughs> You knew he could not heal here. Not where there were people who knew what he was. Not where he was in such danger. You packed the home you and the boy shared, and you left. But forces followed, jealous forces that were incapable of love. You knew they would never stop, that the boy would never heal. So, while the boy was sleeping, you left to face them, but you didn't come back. The boy searched and waited for a long time. Eventually, the boy became disorientated. He had long since depleted his food and water supplies, and no kick of hunger or dry scraping of thirst would bring him to touch the half he saved for you. Oh no. This is sad. It was just a moment before the end. The last time he would have opened his eyes. That's when he saw it. A home. Love a home. Oh, I suppose it's my turn. No, I I need help. It was like the one you made. Not exactly the same. It was older, more worn, but just as nice. It was just like the... Oh, sorry, hold on. Let me check the stream. It's just like the one she lost. Not exactly the same. He was younger than he would be now. And more broken. But just as nice. <laughs> the boy's name was Alexander. Yeah, no one's gonna join. <laughs> it's fine. It's an unpopular game. Written and created by Curtis Campion. Art by Kurt Prieto. Music by Jessica Kelly. Edited by Lee Arthur Daphnia. <sighs> Alexander, wake up! Jake's here! Wait a minute. I bet that room is still gross. Don't come down until it's clean, please, young man. Aw. Oh, I'll just get messy again. Poor thing.
Oh, clean, I better head downstairs. Clean your gross bowl. Task complete. Hey. Hello. Let me please, Alexander. I have a knife here. Need to clean your room. Yes, but only because I fear you. Oh, please, you love me. Here, eat this. Oh, so, Jake, is your mom still mad at me? Uh, Jake. Fine, yes, she still thinks you drank all that wine. I didn't. This time at least, I... Leave me out of this. <laughs> Fine. Alexander, are you... Oh! Hungry boy. Are you ready to go to the vault? Ugh, cringe. Wait, then let's get the flip out of here. Language, thank you, Jake. Flip. You'd better hurry after him. Please be safe, the vault is so dangerous. You know what? You'll have a wonderful time. I won't spoil it for you. Have a great day. Thanks for breakfast, it was super yum. The manners on that kid. You're too good for someone his age. Poor thing. Oh, Saul. Things are finally starting to feel better. Hey, wait up! It's Alexander, right? Sorry about that. My mom is fighting with Nora over some dumb missing wine. My name's Jake, by the way. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. Come on, follow me. We've got a bunch to do today. What's up? Oh, nothing. Let's go. It's re Somewhere I like it. It's really cute. <laughs> Before we head to the vault, I need to show you around. Sometimes you'll need to come to town and chase up overdue books and stuff, so it'll be useful for you to know where things are. But if you want to work things out for yourself, that's cool too. Better hurry. Alright. Just appear. Stanley lives in that blue building. Good morning, Jake. And you must be Alexander. Good morning to you. Good morning, Aunt Stanley. Anyway, moving on. Marge lives in the yellow one. Uh, Heather, she lives in the red one. We gotta run. See you, Stanley. <laughs> this is my family's pub. We live upstairs. In that purple building over there, it's abandoned. I ain't buy that. Here, I forgot. This is Peggy's house. She's originally from Silver Pine. So, I know, okay. But she spent a really long time in Otherware. She just got back. Just kidding, check it. The Vault of Silver Pine. It's a mansion. Ryuko, listen to me. I'm getting very tired of having this conversation with you. But Kay, the red sentries are acting strangely. You know they are. They're doing nothing they're not supposed to be doing. Well, what about the one that ate all of Heather's flowers? Marge is still angry about that, you know? Well, sendings do eat flowers in the vault as well as the sendings. They're ancient. It's no surprise that some things don't work and others, well... I've gone slightly mad. Alright, well, what about... My goodness, you're finally here. I was sure you'd be needed by some monster from underwear. Very funny, but I'm gonna pretend that was genuine concern. We could, we don't have time for this. Make sure those two are kept busy. But that conversation is not over. Oh, it most certainly is. Whatever. How rude of me, you must be Alexander. My name's Rieko. Nice to meet you. Right back at you. Fab, right. Jake, I need you with me. We have some cleaning up to do. Oh, what? I was meant to show Alexander around. I know. But last night, some red sendings made a huge mess. So you and I get to clean that. In the meantime, Alexander will find a box just near the entrance. It's full of questing books that need to be returned to their shelves.
You need to return them to the shelves. Do you think you can manage that? Enthusiasm. Haven't heard that one in a while. I like you already. Oh, and one last thing. We're on the ground floor right now. We won't go any higher than the second level. It's too risky for now. Come on, let's go. Empty returns once. Alright. Thing here. I wonder if this was made in RPG Maker or something similar. Chicken recipes to die for. We lost a doomsday weapon. Finish guides being mean. I wish I could jump over the ledge or something, but it looks massive, so I'll avoid that. Let's get a flip off this planet. Your friends are all about to die. That's ominous. This is not good sounding good. Some pleasant ways to die by Daphne. Yep, it's empty. What do I do now? What's that? Oh, hello, what are you doing? Oh. Wait, could you not do that? The hitboxes feel really weird. But I guess it's grid based. Something wrong with that was a sister. I'm gonna fix that thing first. I hate leaving it like it is. The world is ending. Quit cleaning. <laughs> Gee, thanks. What are you doing here? Oh wow, that's a lot. Red wings? Ah, oh, flip. I think I think I might be in trouble. That's a lot. That is a hell of a lot. I'm not sure I'm gonna enjoy that one. Hold on, am I still streaming? Yeah, it seems like I'm still streaming. Nothing interfering just yet. <laughs> alright, alright, I'm just gonna go back. What the flip, what the flip, what the flip, what the flip! <laughs> oh, it's you. What in the other way do you think you're going? A bunch of red things, they're chasing... They've stopped. There, they all look, look like angry little red versions of that statue. Mm-hmm. You're as bad as Reiko. I'm too busy for this. Go and get your overdue books from Marge and, um, Heather. 
What a bitch. Anyone who walks that slow means business. I better do what she says. Okay. Okay. This is cute. What's your thing? I'm a comedic tailor. I'd, I'd make you a joke, but I've run out of material. Um. Why do you need a market stall for that? Go away. Fuck you. <laughs> Just an immediate fuck you. <laughs> alright, alright. Yes, can I help you? Hello, are you Heather? Obviously, what do you want? You have a book overdue at the vault. Pineapple healing for people who believe that nonsense by people who probably also believe that nonsense. Gosh, that's a mouthful. I think that's a wonderful title. Sorry, do you have it? No, I don't. I lost it. Do you have any idea where you might have lost it? No. My god, these people. Move, thank- oh, what? I'm sorry, these people are... bitchy. I will say that, they're kinda bitchy. I'm not sure I like them at all. <laughs> yeah, that's... That's a cause for concern. Okay, hold on, let me get back to it. That's okay, sweetheart. Oh, I mean, good, you should be. Why are they being mean on purpose? <laughs> Is it that book? Hold on, I'm stealing shit. Hold on. He said it's near some whining crap. Um... Okay, it's just one giant hitbox. Okay. Oh, they're, go they're going into March? Hello, sweetheart. I'm March, purveyor of fine sweets. How can I help you on this lovely day? Wait, let me guess. Here we are. You came here to try delicious sweet. Take this. Thanks, but no. But I'm just here to collect your overdue book. It's called A Simple Cure to Everything, Sugar. Oh my goodness, that had completely slipped my mind. Let me get it for you. You lost it. Here you are, sweetheart. Ah. Uh, you can call me Grandma Marge if you like. Right, but where's the wine and shit? Are we not gonna talk about the red things that were chasing us? Like, I would've expected that to be a cause for concern, but apparently not. It's like, hey, I was being chased out of dear life, shouldn't we be worried about that? I suppose not. It was near some wine. Hold on. Lore book. And I'm gonna save. She says near some wine and shit. Uh, who else has wine? Can't go in yet. Maybe Stanley's? Oh. Uh, nope, can't go to the back of that. <laughs> I guess not either. Where? Oh, now, now nothing works. Are you kidding me? Nope. Nope. Why doesn't anything work? What the fuck? That can't be right. That can't be right. That can't be right. I can't talk to anyone. Not even this. Not even this. Hold on. 
โอเคจะ so much variety Okay, I'm saving here because it's clearly part of the story. Okay, now it works. Oh my gosh, that was weird. Are you here to come pick up something for Kay? No, sorry, Stanley. I'm going to get some overdue books back from Heather Marge. You should speak with them first. They'll be either in the red or yellow buildings. That Marge. She often reads Ling. Beside the ocean near Konora's cottage. Nora's cottage. Okay. Thanks for the hint, Stanley. Now I know what to do. I wish this kid would run. You have energy. Go for it, bitch. Ooh. Deep CD alone. Hey, new kid, you look like a chump. Wanna help me out here for a minute? What? No, you gotta help me out or what? I'm not gonna help that little shit. She can go die in the river. Here's the book. Return to the book, got it. But first... That missing white nor and Jake's mom are fighting over. I should give this back to Jake's mom. Lame Alexander. Oh my god, shut up. You're gonna boop. You're gonna frown on upon an optimistic child? Alright. And. A well-kept abandoned house. That's something. Only four red links are gone. Collect over two books. Hey Alexander. Hey Jake. Good job getting those overdue books from Marge and Heather. They can be tough to deal with, so I had to go help Rico most of the day. I was worried you'd feel neglected. Don't worry, I've still got some stuff to show you. Is that green? If you didn't bring an umbrella, you can share mine. Aww, it's gonna be really cute. I can tell. It's gonna be super cute. Also, I'm surprised that... I've stayed online for so long, that means the internet, this new <laughs> dongle's working just fine. Nice, welcome to the Koala and Cream. My family's club. You should go around it, the room and meet everyone. I'll get us some drinks from the bar. You can tell me you completed your work today with distinction. Well done. Alexander, I'm Sienna and Jake's dad. Surely there's more to you than that. Not that I know of. Buzz off, bub. I'm talking to Rieko. Sienna's a bit rude, but she's sweet when you get to know her. Or after you bribe her. I'm trying to get my mom to give us beer. I've maybe had <laughs> too many <laughs> cosmopolitans. Hey, it must be Jake's mom. And you must be Alexander. It's lovely to meet you. You too. I found this bottle of wine by an overdue book of Heather's. You did? Show me. Oh no. This is the one I thought Nora took. I feel terrible. I'll have to apologize to her next time I see her. The poor old bar just stay drinking again. <laughs> Thanks, Alexander. I said Heather. Ah yes, of course you did. You're a lovely boy for saying that. Here, take this as a thank you. Lore book chapter discovery. If you're reading this, beware, for things in the town of Silk Pine are not all they seem. I have hidden chapters around the town that have reached, that each reveal a hidden truth. Seek them all out if you want to know the whole story. Not all the chapters will remain hidden, and some will only reveal themselves when they are needed. Good luck, I'll be watching you. That's ominous. 
and creepy. Spapa then no mother cluck. Really? I'm deleting this. I'm I'm pissed. I'm pissed. Someone would send me spam on chat. <sighs> I'm a little annoyed by that. Very much actually. Mingle with the town full complete. What's with the blue ones? What? Ooh. Oh no, not these things again. What's the matter, Alexander? Nothing except well, those things are trouble. They're called sendings. What did they do? Well, there was this white one that led me to this room. It's not white, it's just blank. Oh, shush, Sienna. You know that's not true. Alexander, sendings are always either blue, red, or green. Oh, this one was white or blank. It can't be. Sorry, go on with your story. After it threw half the books and put me underground, it led me to a room full of red ones that chased me out the wall. Right into Kate too, but she doesn't seem mad, so that's good. Is that so? Then I have to go. What? You're leaving? Why? Like, right now. No time to explain. Well, nothing to read into there. Henry, you should know that sendings are harmless. They exist to maintain the vault, that's all. Alright, slippers. <laughs> oh, I just lost. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. <laughs> It's two up time, let's dance! <laughs> I'm cutting you out, March. <laughs> of course. What do you say, Sandy? I'll take heads. You're on. Come on, Alexander, I'll teach you how to play. So our super sober friend March here is going to flip three coins. You either pick heads or tails. If all the or the majority are the one you pick, then you win. So why not just flip one coin? Well, there is a version of this game where the person flipping the coins can win. Let's face it, March doesn't care. <laughs> Hold on. Ah, sorry, something got caught in my chair. Yeah. Oh my, am I still streaming? I still am. Gucci. I'm ready to lose. No, but I'm ready to win. Would you like heads or tails? I'm a bottom. <laughs> tails are yours. March, flip them. Alright, two hits, I win. By the way, we're playing for secrets. I want to know all of yours, not just because you're from Motherware, but because I like you. Oh, yeah, okay. Here comes round two, heads or tails. Marjorie, who are you even playing against? Heads in a landslide, well done, you get a secret about me now too. If you want it. <laughs> now you lot, take a deep breath and calm down. Look what you've done. You scared the poor souls half to death, but I- I heard it whispered. Jake, make sure they get home safely, please. Okay, but I'm bringing Alex. Alex. It stops raining as soon as it's night time. Alright, so to make sure the sendings get back to the vault safely, you gotta give them a little spook. You run straight back into the vault if you do that. Not a big spook, just a little one. I take it you've done this before? So, so many times. I'm going to go to the outside of the vault and see if any are hiding there. You go to the- you do the town, okay? Sounds good. I think there were five sendings in the pub. You're not very good at hiding. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's not... <laughs> like, ooh, so scary. <laughs> okay, they're still around town, not the Benora's beach. Alright, <laughs> found one. Enjoying the view? Let's check the houses. Locked. Locked. Do you want a drink? Boo! <laughs> Sorry. <gasps> Woo!
Okay, that's three. I nearly didn't see you there. <laughs> Where's the last one? Oh. Um, boo. <laughs> Good job spotting those sendings. I saw something run past me into the ball. Yeah, they were... I'm curious what the fuck that was. <laughs> well, but at least I am still... Hold on. I'm just surprised I'm lasting this long on the stream. They were terrified. What? No. Well, maybe one. I'm just kidding. They were fine. Probably. I was hoping I would run into you. I want to show you something. I'll wait on the bridge. Ugh. My son went missing. I lost the ability to feel. My whole world was in flames. I just kept thinking. Tomorrow. It'll all stop tomorrow. I know you feel the same way about what you've lost. I'm not making any sense. Every night I come here and I put one of these in the river. So hopefully he'll see one. And come back to me. It's got his name in it. See? Solve. I made one for you too. Don't worry, I made sure it was green. So your sister knows you want her to find you. Right? Put them in the water together. Huh? Oh, it's lanterns. It's so starting to get much better. Thank you, Nora. Come on, Alexander. And we've got one last thing to show you tonight. So, what do you think? You're beautiful. I'm glad you think so. I'd like to cash in the secret I want off of you at the pub. I'm not sure what to say. Come on, what's something you've never told anyone? I'm self-conscious about my ears. What? That doesn't count. There's nothing wrong with your ears. You don't think they stick out? Of course not. Thanks. Can I have your secret now? All right, then. You probably noticed already, but I, uh, I speak with a lisp. The secret is that even though I don't want to be, I'm ashamed of it. As if you do. <laughs> it's okay, I know I do. But thanks for not noticing. Uh, everything that surrounded them. The need for sleep. It was forgotten. Neither one of them wanted a single thing from the other. Instead, they simply needed everything. And happiness hit Alexander. No, I don't think Twitch is going to appreciate this kind of stream. But I'll post it on YouTube. I have one last question for you tonight, Alexander. Shoot. Can I call you Alex? Yes, please. It is a mouthful to say all the time. No one had ever given Alexander a nickname before. Did they watch the sunrise? It's sweet. For reasons he didn't quite understand, this gesture meant a lot to him. Yes, please call me Alex. Okay, Alex. There you two are. We've been worried <laughs> What if you come home and get some sleep? You're gonna be so late to the vault. Case rage may cause her to do something illegal. I'm glad to see you two are friends again. <laughs> Later that day. Yako, where are you?
green. Yeah, go right here. No? Okay. Oh no, what did Ryoko do? Looks like we'll be going up to level 2. Are you scared? You wish, jellyfish. <laughs> These stupid puns. Oh, for flip's sake, why are you two here? Well, that's not nice. We were worried about you. I'm sorry, I've been up all night. Thank you, Alexander. You forgive people so easily. Why did you leave last night? It's nothing for either of you to worry about. But Rieko, butts are for sitting, mostly. What the? Typical. What do you mean, typical? This is what everyone means when they talk about the vault being dangerous. This is new. Definitely new to me. This is unheard of. It's so old it's falling to bits. Really? Is that how it is? Because that doesn't seem like it, mate. It doesn't seem like it. We'd better make sure Rick was okay. Oh, hmm, what is it? The door's gone. I take it you didn't don't know how to get it back? I do not. That's a problem. You don't seem worried? Well, I was just thinking. She wasn't all that nice just now. What's that got to do with- Jake, you're not suggesting- Oh my god, Drama Lama, I was kidding. Alright, sorry, what should we do? I expect we turn the gears back on the door- back on the door, come back. Let's look for clues, I'll check out those cases. Go team! That's lame. Two, three, four, one is the one way to look at it. Shit, something is going on. You did. Are you sure you want to save Rika right now? Are you sure you're kidding? Reasonably, let's go. Finding the end. It's not there. It's not on the podium. The room should have split apart. Something's terribly wrong. Rika, we totally had to save you. We what's wrong? No, it can't be. Oh, wow. That's not good. Alexander, I need you- He prefers Alex. Jake, be quiet. I need you to run as fast as you can to Nora's house. Find her and bring the safe book of safety back with you. Or, or just bring the book, I don't mind. I have a bad feeling, a really bad feeling. Hi, Nora. Got it. Shit, 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 shit. Something's happening. Check its friend, but no, this is top speed. Oh, I have to press again. Nora? It's gone, I have to find the book. What's that? Oh, it's this? Safe book of safety. Why is it here? Bring it back to the vault. Uh... Damn it. <laughs> okay, 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 okay! Okay. 
Okay. Thanks, Alex. What do you mean, Phil? You weren't sure it would work? Don't worry about it. But do worry about this. I need you to go and get Stanley's book. We need to keep it safe. People are disappearing. I need to check on my sister. Oh, please. She might be young, but she's perfectly capable of looking after herself. <laughs> you should find me when you get a chance, Alex. I'll be on the other side of the vault. Jake, this is an... That's in an... That's in an out-of-bounds area. Are you sure he's ready? Of course, Alex is smart. I mean, he saved us. That's true. Alex, you're now free to move about the vault as you please. But be careful. Where I go, Jake? Alex, don't forget. Meet up with Jake on the other side of the vault. Wait a minute. Hey, Alex, where's Nora? I couldn't find her. That's strange. I'm sure she's just gone for a walk or something. Why don't you go check with the townsfolk to see if anyone's seen her? She used to disappear all the time, although I'll admit it's been a while. Regardless, you better check if anyone has seen her. You're going to tell me what the other wares go what in other wares going on? I'll let you know when I know. Now I have a bone to pick with your our vault keeper. Alright. Alright, I'll play Okay, wait, do I even have time? <sighs> Not a lot. Alright, I'll give it a few more minutes. I'll say here, I guess. I mean, we averted a crisis, but... Plane. That's weird. So that crypt teleports us. Making the perfect town by Orlando Co. Incorruptible person by Trent Michaels. Suspicious books. Don't tell me this place isn't real. Here we go. Hello. How can I help you? Peggy, do you know who I am? Eureka's guardian. So you don't remember. I I have to. Aw. What a strange person. I'd appreciate it if you knocked. Oh, it's you, the new kid, Alexander, is it? They don't always knock in other words, do they? My name is Peggy. I'm an explorer. Well, I guess a retired explorer now. It's nice to meet you, Peggy. You too. Have you seen Nora today? Who is Nora? You don't know Nora? She lives by the beach. Of course, no, I haven't seen her. Although I heard her putting lanterns in the river again last night. This one. How much do you know about eggs? Oh, um, the normal amount? It's typical, under the casual. The good boy, rough. Yes, you are, yes, you are. Uh -huh. Alexander, what are you doing here? Where's Jay? He's in the vault, then. Have you seen Nora? No, I haven't. She's gone missing again, has she? Yeah. I see. Well, I'll go look in the regular spots. Don't worry, we'll find her. Jake's room? Enter and I will destroy you, Sienna. Looks like it's repeated in a bunch of different languages. Alright. I concede. Ah. Oh, they're married, I 
think. No? Okay. It's a painting Marge and Heather, they look happy. I guess they're married, maybe. I guess they visit each other. I wonder why they need- oh yeah. Stanley, are you okay? Oh, Alexander, mate! I'm fine, I just can't turn around right now because... Um... I've got hay fever, that's it. What now, of course not, although I'd be perfectly okay if I was, so you know, what can I help you with? Have you seen Nora? She's gone wandering around again, has she? Let's... Jake... Let Jake's mom know, she can normally find her. That's nothing to worry about. Okay, that's one more person down, we need two more. Okay, the the old the old biddies must be drinking by the beach because that seems to be the frequent spot. No? Fuck. Romance novels... Everything has been left out. What's odd is it's just my room here. Where's there's a spot over... above? Oh, okay, there is. But no Nora. Or any townsfolk, for that matter. Alright, let's see... somewhere else. Hold on, let me check. Oh, we have a viewer! Who's this one? Um... Whoever you are, hi, nice to see you. Hope you guys enjoy the show. I'm trying my best, um, figuring this shit out. Nope. Nothing there. What the? Oh. Okay, follow the light. Take care of that later. Um, I might have to. F Where is Norm? I'm gonna go check some of the other rooms. Uh, yeah, that's not helpful. I wonder if someone's here. Oh! Sienna, I'm trying to study here. Are you standing on that chair? Who are you? The chair police? Oh my gosh, this little bitch. Have you seen Nora? Not since yesterday, sorry. Ah, oh boy. Here lies Heather's self and Marge's heart. Ooh. Heather's self and Marge's heart. Oh. Oh, hello, dear. Heather, you're not all here? I was going to say being nice. But yes, that too. Marge must be dressing up as me again. What? I'm her In her head, I'm much meaner than I really was. Why she wouldn't she do that? The poor old duck has trouble letting go. Oh, so she dresses up as... Heather. Heather, what are you? I'm a memory, dear. Does that mean you're... Well, not necessarily, but in this case, I'm afraid so. I'm sorry. 
Don't be sorry, dear. It means I get to stay in this room for as long as I want. And I'll probably want to stay for a long time. Why is that? Did you know that it's always the early morning in this room? She was night, and I was day. But we could always agree on dawn. If you see her, can you let her know I'd love to see her again? Even if it's only once more. Good. Okay. Heather's self and Marge's heart. Yeah, they loved each other. Hello, sweetheart. Is she... Is she in there? She'd love to see you. What would you do if you were me? Well, why haven't you seen her yet? It's such a simple question when you ask it. The truth is, I don't really know. We were just fighting, I don't even remember why. I suppose it's time. And it's... Oh, wow. I have some advice for Alexander. Never hold a grudge against someone you love. There are no winners. <laughs> Only people lost time that would have been better spent together. You know, there is something special about you. You bring people together. I do. Have you seen Nora today, Marge? <laughs> there you go again. I haven't sweetheart. Sorry. Alright, we've asked five people. It's locked. What about this one? This is strange. What is? Hey Alex, you're here. What is it? These shelves are normally full of books. Hey, where are all the books? You can talk to them? What? Oh, no, I can't. But I kind of just do it anyway. Oh, you look mad. Ooh! Oh, yeah, yeah, this sending is not going to let us through. We better go find the missing books. Oh, it's you again. Better not find any books thrown on the floor. Oh my, what? You're real! I told you. I totally believed you. Maybe. Is it gonna do something? It's probably thinking of a new way to get me chased. So if we go into that room, we'll get chased out. That's my read anyway. But that's case of office. Alex, what if that's where the missing books are? Bingo, it tends to disappear when you write. How odd. And convenient. It's locked. Well, that is inconvenient. You mean inconvenient? What'd I say? Never mind. Anyway, I know someone with a key. Is it K? Reiko? No, well, K, yes. No, someone else. And it ain't gonna come cheap. I checked on her earlier. She's studying that room over there. Ah, uh, Sienna. No, I won't say it. What won't you say? Sienna, it's essential to your schooling. How could this possibly, in any possible way, be relevant to anything? Seriously, what in other way are you two talking about? Sienna's learning about riddles today, and I know what riddles are, old man. And what you're talking about is not a riddle, probably. They're disgusting, dare. I think I might be sick. They're thinly disguised dad jokes. Oh. Oh no. Either way, you're not leaving today until you answer one. You are mad with power. <laughs> Question one. I won't answer. How do lumberjacks know how many trees they've cut down? Ho ho ho. You didn't even make that up. I'm hilarious. I'm leaving now. I probably won't ever come back. I'll come with. I've gotta ask you something. Want to hear another joke? No. <laughs> Straight up. You still don't trust me? I'm an adult now. Hey, don't get off topic. It's alone, okay? It's the best key I've got and I don't want it lost. How did you even get this? Don't ask questions you should know the answer to. Anyway, better go back in. He'll come looking soon. It's alone. I don't want to talk about it. Let's go. The books, they're all in here. How strange. Red. Oh no, I knew this would happen. What on earth is going on? Oh, what the? This might take a while. Did they put the books back under the spider webs? It looks like it. Huh. I know you're busy looking for Nora, but would you mind helping me find this book? Thanks, Alex. I really appreciate it. The book we're looking for is blue. It's called Belonging, a manual. Or the Book of Belonging. 
Emmanuel left belonging? Something like that. Whoever finds it first wins. Yeah, that made me feel sticky. Oh, I see it, but how to reach this part of the maze? Okay, okay, we're gonna go that route, huh? Okay, let me grab this and head out. Wait, where are you going? Ooh. <laughs> oh no. It's gonna be a chase. What have we got there? Ooh. Key? Can I keep this? Ooh, thinks I really am sorry. I don't want to be aggressive. Find a key and then what? Okay, there's the book. I just need to figure out a way to get there. Oh, there it is. Keyhole. Belonging. A manual. Oh, I didn't consent to being teleported just then. At least I got the book. You got the book? I sure did. Here you go. Thanks, Alex. Now let's get out of here. Jeez, one after the other. Whoa, I've never seen that ladder before. What if Nora's up there? Only one way to find out. You're not about to climb that, are you? No. Yes, of course you wouldn't. I wouldn't be very smart to go into an unexplored area in the vault, would it? Um, no, it wouldn't. Yeah, you never know. You might just get lost. What did you say to me? The vault is mine. You are not welcome. The vault? Oh, the locks through the town. Don't let me catch you if you near that ladder again. If I do, that's all the consequences of it will be the worst that you experience. Whoa, calm down. Is Kay always like that? It doesn't take much to annoy her these days, but she used to be nice. Anyway, I'd better get this vehicle. There's a secret room under the stairs in the vault foyer. The vault will meet her there. Okay, I think I know what that is. Jeez, she's so antagonistic. I'm I'm not sure what to Why is she like the mm. Hold on, it's almost fuck, I need to wrap up. I wanna know what happens. Not this one. Let's try this again. Shit. Fucking controls.
In Moderator, the stand was founded by three people in Ascending. Yes, Ascending. The founders embodied a specific value, created their own books, and their own sending singer image, the vanity of speed, and then they created a whole block with the things that contradicted their ideas. How very undemocratic. By the way, what was the sending still the one who helped them to town? Is this mean one of the bloggers while sending still lives in Silver Pine? I'm saving. I'm not feeling that shit again. Oh, now it's. Okay, underneath the stairs, there's a secret room at the mansion foyer. If it's in the foyer, that means... Alex, you're here. No, I didn't find Nora. No matter, she'll turn up. Jake was telling me about the ladder you took on. In case reaction when you try to climb it. I'm gonna let you both in on what's going on here. I won't waste any time, but about this book. That's killed the world before. And Ten years ago, it nearly did again. Oh wow. Hey, Kush. Two books. Hey, if you don't become a keeper, it will go to her. You can't ask me to do this. I'm the safe keeper, hey, and I need your help to enact that responsibility. I understand that, but what you're asking me for is betrayal. I won't do that to her. Okay, you can't allow this to happen. If she becomes the block keeper, she'll find a way to overrule Laura and I. Then she'll use the bomb to create more blocks. She'll keep doing it and doing it until the tools to kill the world are in the hands of everything that happens. Psycho will begin again. The mission of Silver Pine failed. She would bring the world to its final end. Maybe she's right. Maybe we are corrupt. Maybe any human should be able to use the vault. The benefits it provides are endless. The vault killed the world for you know this. The only purpose the only purpose now is to prevent the letter from ever recreated. We are here to make sure it's never used for that purpose. You know what's happening? We're near the end. Every second we go back, she comes closer to taking over. We were always meant to be the vault. You were always meant to be the vault keeper, Kay. It was always you, never her. You're the best of us. We need you. Wow, those are words. Silverfang is run by a committee of three, each of which has taken a book. When all three are gathered in this room, the vault's power can be abolished. So, I'm you can understand it. Oh fuck, she has all three. Oh no! Belong a manual. In the, in the safe book of safety. The sendings assist keepers with their duties. The red sendings, case sendings. You have been acting suspiciously for some time now. And after what you said at the pub, Everything that's happened since. My fears have been confirmed. I believe the case book was taken some time ago. And whoever was threatening the town 10 years ago, it scared the three keepers, Nora, Stan, and Kay enough to use the vault. And now it's back. And we are totally unprepared. I need both of you to meet me in the foyer tomorrow. We are going to find which is hiding up that ladder. So then stick together. That night. I know, you know, you didn't need to walk with me back here. What? I didn't. I'm staying with you tonight. Rigo said to stick together. You always do what Rigo tells you to. Only when it's the right thing to do. Thanks. Don't think me, I like spending time with you. By the way, does Nora have a spare bed? <laughs> Jake? Yes, Alex? What if someone finds us? Finds us doing what? I feel like that is obvious. Sharing a bed? I mean, won't people think you have a problem with it? Well, no. Hey Alex, I know you're not from here, but I'm not sleeping on the floor unless I have to. I just don't have the back for it. Also, you're in Silver Pine now. People are good here. Are you sure? Well, I'm sure now. Let's get some sleep. Spoon, spoon, spoon. You have to help me feed them. They're judging me.
Why are they judging you? What? What kind of dream is this? Thank you, Alex. I was worried they'd eat all my biscuits. Jake's waiting for him outside. Yes, of course. One of these endings stole my sweets. How do you know? I just do. Go through the crates and get it back. Is that that rude? How should I know you're the adult? some sweets for Sienna. Typical. I don't know, that dude is really cute. And dumb. Why are you so so bad? I will never be as young as we are again. You know, when I'm talking to you, it's like there's something underneath what we say. The connection we have. It's the understanding that I wait for you. And you wait for me too. Like we're in this together or something. Well, it's kind of happy, yes. Oh, thanks. Knowing you facing me forever, this can't wait. Good morning, you two. Good morning. Since you're both late again, we'd better get to work. Alex empty returns, but somehow it's full already. Which makes zero sense. Like, five people live in this town. Anyway, Jake, you go to Peggy's and get the final draft of her on the back of me.
Wait, can I climb this ladder? Nope. Alright. Check the library. I mean, the looks like nothing here. Oh wait. That misery and ladders for the silver priest. Ten gruesome ladder accidents. Why? I wish there was a faster way to run around. Lose to you, never lose to you, not again. But I'm saving. I can't find the last one. Like there's one here. Maybe I have to talk to
Oh, that was dumb. Now what? Go find a vehicle. Here we go again. I didn't realize it was this easy. Oh, she's commanding them with the blue book. Oh wait! She's eliminating them? That was so neat. This has to be the first time you two have ever been on time to anything. But next day, find that book I had the blue sending stretch. You did that? Yeah, I did. Give it to me, please. Hmm, looks like I thought. I know what's up that ladder. If Kay doesn't want us to see it, that's what we'll do. But before I forget, Jake, take Stanley's book back. She wouldn't expect me to leave it with you. Um, no offense. It's kind of hard not to be offended by that. But yeah, I'll take the book back. Before we go, I need to tell you both what's up there. It's a chunk of the old dead world. From the time before, the time was not counted. So things might get freaky. Now, are you first, Alex? Isn't it weird that the sending K left is gone? Yeah, hmm. I did think I'd have to get rid of that one too. Nothing much we can do about that now. Last one up the ladder is the worst. Oh, what? That's not fair. The old dead world, it's... Damn, it's ruined. Guess these new rules are great. Are you... I really love rules. The more mundane and complicated, the better. What? Shit. What who are you? You can't be here. It's against the rules. Ooh, that was fun. Um, excuse me, you didn't tell me I'd get sucked into some vortex. Sorry, I thought I'd make a, I'd make a good surprise. It would have been fun if it wasn't a surprise. I bet Jake will be cross. I know, I can't wait. Excuse me? Oh, hello there. Well, it's nice to finally be noticed. Wait a minute, you're sending. What? No, it can't be. No, Alex, it is. The original sendings were made to look like humans. Everyone thought they were super creepy, so they changed them into later models. Oh, and they could talk. I'm not sure why you'd be removed that functionality. You just call me an outdated model? You're a liar. My self-awareness chips are total aren't totally fried. Am I suddenly hungry? Oh, that must be really rude. I'm so sorry. Not forgiven, you're both awful. Okay, new rule. Neither of you are allowed to talk to me. That's why we got rid of talk functionality. What an ancient world's warp. Alex, do me a favor and break a couple of its rules. Okay, this is weird. But I think I'll save here. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me. I think I've played long enough. Don't you? <laughs> it's been a good it's a good run, and it's a good time. I know it was practically solo. Oh well. I'll have better opportunities maybe. Hoping. Yeah, I'll see you guys soon. California Mike is signing out. Bye for now. <laughs>